Hey, hi guy. Uh, for your footstep sounds for first person game, I decided to make a short game tutorial uh, instead of sending you pictures. I have a bit of a flu, so if I sound weird or anything like that, it's because of that. Okay, so the first thing is this whole thing. Oh, actually, I'm going to show you. Okay, so as you can see, when he jumps, it doesn't make any sound, and when he transitions from the different surface type, it makes uh, it gets a different step sound. So this derives basically from getting physical surface material. So the first thing that you want to do is go into your project settings, uh, in physics and physical surface, set up your different surfaces. In my case, I had two metal and stone, so that's what I added. Once that's done, you're going to want to create as many physical materials. You do this by right-clicking, physics, physical material. Then go inside and set the variables as you want them. I didn't change anything at all. Uh, you could change your friction, uh, tire frictions if you need. But what we're going to be changing is the surface type. Okay. Sorry, I was coughing. Um, yeah, they're surface types. So again, I only had two. That's what I did, metal and stone. So set them accordingly. Uh, once you have them all set up, maybe you have ten of them, I don't know. You need to set them up inside of your material. So for example, inside of my metal material, I you, inside your main node, you're going to see at the top physical material. And this is where you're going to choose your physical material. So this is metal, metal on metal, works. And that's basically it. After that, you're going to need to set them up in your character blueprint. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is create your variables. So you want to add as many sound cues as, you're, you, as you want, basically. In my case, I have four. Um, and then you're going to have a landed boolean which you want to set to true yeah oh, sorry and uh, once that's done set the set to true I said that the next thing is you're going to need your functions two functions first one I called it walk and this is the function that's going to cycle your sound cues and it's going to derive from a multi-gate flow and set it to random, add as many pins as you have sound cues and plug them in. And that's basically it. Uh, each of your sound cues are going to be plugged into one of those. The location, probably just get actual location instead of what I did. And you can get the capsule component also if you want, doesn't really matter. And that's it for your walk component, or er, function, I mean, sorry. Now, for the floor, I made another function called floor. And this is basically the function that checks what surface you're stepping on. Okay, your floor function, or whatever you called it, is derived from a line trace by channel. Line trace by channel. And it's going to start at your capsule component. So just get your capsule, get world location, world location, and that's it. Plug that into the start, and then subtract it, subtract it on the z-axis. Uh, if you're using the default, 100 is fine. If you scaled your character to giant size, you may want to use a bigger number. Um, anyhow. Ignore self is important here. And this is another important part. This is how you're going to figure out which physical surface you're stepping on. So we get a surface type. Okay. And then you're going to figure out what it is by two string. Two string byte and equal equal. You could use case sensitive if you want. I didn't. And then you just type in 
the name of your physical material. Okay, so as many as you have surfaces. Same thing for the branch. You're going to plug everything into these branches, and you need as many as you have physical materials. Doesn't really matter which order, obviously. And then these branch, um, in this, for my example, it checks if it's my middle surface. If it's true, then it sets up my uh, my different sound cues here. Uh, I had four, so I said four. If it's false, it's going to keep going to the next one. Is it stone? True. Do your thing. False. Check the next one. True. Set it up. Okay. So that's basically it for the floor function. Oh. And um, so this is the, the the player character, right? So this was here, I think. And this whole movement thing was somewhere around here. Anyways, I didn't change a whole lot. Um, we're gonna start at the jump. So when the player jumps, you want to clear your your functions, which are set up via via timers. So do that. Clear when you're jumping. Clear them because you don't want any sounds, and you don't have to look for new surfaces because you're jumping. And you don't want sounds. Uh, important thing: this is case sensitive. Okay. So and also jump or landed boolean set to false because you're jumping you're not landed obviously and that's it for the jump now for the movement input uh, okay these this sequence is the exact same as this one so we're just gonna look at one of them so these these axis value are basically minus one zero or one so when you're going backwards, it's minus 1. When you're going forward, it's 1. And we don't have any, at least I didn't have any specific backwards or forward sounds. You could easily have backward different sounds than forward um, by separating these two. But I added them together. So if, if you're going backwards or if you're going forward, then it's going to be true in this branch. And if it is true, you're going forwards or backwards check if you're landed if you're not landed which means you're in the air do nothing if you are landed then proceed uh, you're gonna add a do once and from that do once you're gonna set your timers so your your walk and my floor functions are set up in these timers um, these times work pretty well for me you may tweak them as you want make sure that they are set to loop and that's it you're gonna like I said do the exact same thing down here just copy and paste them uh, in the middle here you're gonna have a consequence if you're not moving and this consequence has to be a result of both so they both have to be set to zero so you plug those into an end a branch if it is true then you want to clear your functions okay again case sensitive <coughs> sorry after that you plug it into a sequence and reset your do once from them and that's it for those you're also going to want to reset your do once from your event on landed okay and your event on landed is also going to set your your landed boolean true and then have another sequence reset like I just said and that's basically it you're done and getting some sounds going and okay thanks and uh, good luck